Hey there, how you doing? Good. How was your shift? Mm, it was here, so just want to get out of here. I understand. Tell me what we got tonight. All right, so I have three people for you. Looks like I have 52. Okay, I'm showing Deborah Ray. Right. Uh, she's a 54-year-old female. Okay. Full code. Okay. I don't know when she got admitted. I didn't look it up. I think she's here for a seizure. She was awake when I went in the room. Um, room air. She's got two IVs. I think one's on the right. But uh, you could look that up. Uh, 55. Okay. That's uh, Linda Carter. She's a 33-year-old female. Okay. Full code. Uh-huh. Got here on the 15th. Uh, I don't know why she's here. She had some kind of surgery. I think she's got, um, I don't know, staples in her. I don't know. She's got a dressing on her back. But it's in, it's in the computer. You can look it up. And she's got a IV 20 gauge. And she's got Ted's on. The last room, 77. Uh huh. Let's see. Uh, that's Mr. Lewis. He's a 77 year old male. He's a DNR. He got here on the 17th. He fell. Uh, room air. And I think he's just bruised up. The rest of his stuff is in a computer. Anything else? Yeah, I have a couple questions. Uh, when the first patient, Miss Ray, you indicated she had a couple IVs. Yeah, but it's in the computer. You can look it up, right? Well, I would like to hear it from you. That way I can verify and make sure everything's correct. But there's, there's two. You'll be able to see them. See the I really want to go. I, mean, I, I understand you wanting to get out of here. 12 hours is 12 hours. But right. patient care is patient care, and that's what we're here for. But you're a nurse. You can see them. But I'm supposed to be relieving you, and if you can't give me a correct report. You're not giving me much relief here. Well, you're not giving me much of a re report here. I, I told you what I knew. And Linda Carter is a 33-year-old. Mm -hmm. Dressing on her back. Is the dressing intact? Is there any drainage? It's all in there. I understand it's on there, but what is her condition? That she's in the bed. That's what condition she's in. I mean, I know she's in the bed, but I need I need to know more. Well, I mean, you can look it up. I just you're gonna be here all night. I'm not. I want to go. But you've been here all day, and you've dealt with the patient all day, and I'm just coming on. And well, she was fine. I mean, she's sleeping. Everything's good. Everything's good. Were her vitals within normal range? Yeah, everything's good. And what about the other gentleman? He's okay. He was sleeping. Because on my report here, uh, it shows that a lab for his lithium level should have been obtained. I Did you get it? I don't, I don't think so. The tech might got it. Well, I need to know because I don't want to give him it'll lithium be, if his level hasn't been it'll be in the computer. checked. Because if You'll he's higher it. than the threshold, then I could it'll be, in. it'll be in there. Overdose him. It'll be in there. Okay. I will talk to my supervisor regarding okay. this. And maybe the next night I can get a better report from you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, so that definitely wouldn't be how you do it. So we'll go back now and show the correct information and give a report again. Hey, how you doing tonight? Good, how are you? Good. How's your shift? Everything is good. All right, I'm ready when you are. I'm ready. All right, so I have three for you. Okay. Room 52. Uh-huh. I have Miss Deborah Ray. She's a 54-year-old female. She's full code, and she came here on the 13th. She's Team 7. Her diagnosis is static elipticus. She came in with a seizure. She got a history of MS, dementia, and seizures. Okay. She is alert and oriented times four. Okay. She is nonverbal and non-command following. 
Okay, her right side is weaker than her left. Her pupils are reactive to light. Okay, she's got a normal sinus rhythm, room air. She's incontinent, but she has a pure wick. It's changed at 2 p.m. Okay. It's due to be changed at 2 a.m. She's on tube feeds, 1.5 jeopardy, okay. five feedings a day, four hours apart, 220 milliliters per of feeding, feeding. Okay. 160 on the flush. She's bed bound, okay. non weight bearing, and PO. Skin, her left clavicle has a red mark. It is blanchable, also covered by a Metplex for protection. She has generalized bruising. Her results showed bacteremia positive in her urine. CT showed bilateral atelectasis. Her potassium was 3.0. Okay, okay. two IVs. Left hand 20 gauge, saline locked, right AC, 20 gauge, saline locked. She has no fluids running. And she has SCDs for DVT. No known allergies. Okay. Room 55. Miss Linda Carter, she's a 33 year old female, full code. Came in on the 15th. Diagnosis. She had a benign spinal meningioma. She had back pain times one week prior to admission with numbness to her right side, generalized to her right lower extremity. She was febrile, 99.3 on admission. Alert and oriented times four. Right side of weakness. Sinus right, uh, rhythm to the sinus tack. Goes up to 150 with activity. Room air. She is continent. Use the bedside commode. Okay. Regular diet. Swallow is good. Mobile, mobility up with one assist. Her skin. Um, she had a lim thoracic laminectomy on the 15th. So she has a cervical island dressing. Okay. From C2 to C5. Elevated white count. 23.3. Has the right AC, 20 gauge. Heads for DVD, uh, DVT. And she'll be going to rehab in the morning. Okay. Last room. Mr. Lewis, room 77, a 77 year old male. Came in on the 17th, team four. Had a ground level fall prior to admission. Alert and oriented times four. Slurred speech, hard of hearing, bilateral upper extremity weakness, okay. normal sinus rhythm, room air. He's incontinent. He has a condom cast, a regular diet, but he is a feeder. Mobility up with two. He has an abrasion the posterior of his head from the fall from the fall and some generalized bruising on his right arm his MRI shows C2 through C9 compression okay left ribs 20 gauge flush is patent he has sailing locked and he also will be going to rehab on Monday Okay. What questions do you have for me? Uh, no questions. I think you've answered everything in the shift report. Now we can just do our walking rounds. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.